What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and today, let's network an apartment. Hey, Bella? Now, generally when I'm networking an apartment for somebody, I pretty much just deploy an access point wherever the apartment complex has the ISP line coming into the apartment itself. And then if they need a cable running somewhere, usually hopefully it's on the same wall or within the same room, I'll just use Monoprice Slim Run cable. Now this is black, normally I would buy the white stuff, and you can pretty much bury that in carpet. Run along the edge of an apartment, sometimes you can tuck it under the trim. If you can't do that, just run along the edges, rub your hand over the carpet, and it pretty much disappears. One thing you do have to be aware of with the Monoprice Slim Run cable is that the cabling is so thin that you can't just crimp a regular ethernet connector on it if you buy the bulk spool of it. Uh, these little teeth, the little teeth, whenever you go to crimp it down, don't actually bite into all of the conductors. So you need to buy special connectors that will actually bite into this slim cable. So generally I just connect it to a keystone and then use a little six inch jumper. Now if I need to go across a room or across walkways, what I'll generally do is I'll then transition this cable into flat cable and I'll run that underneath the carpet by peeling it up at the edges, running it under there and calling it a day. And generally that works pretty well because we don't have the flexibility of being able to run cables through the walls like we can in a regular house. So the Monoprice Slim Run cable and flat ethernet cable is pretty much how I have to do that. Now, if you have any other suggestions on how I can do that, uh, please leave them in the comments below. But I only have to be in an apartment for about three to six months. So that's not really worth pulling up the carpet and everything for, or running these cables, connecting them, converting them, all that stuff. So I thought of a simpler option. Now, I would just go ahead and use my Aria Live Flex Off Stage Grade Ethernet cables. Uh, the best Ethernet cables money can buy. I freaking love these things. Seriously, um, Aria Live, thank you for making these. These are fantastic cables. Fanboying aside, I needed a way to get the cables across walkways. I needed the cables to go across walkways without having anything on the floor, without being able to run things through the walls, and I didn't want to make it difficult to tear down when I have to leave. Oh, and I'm also running servers and test networks because I run a business and a YouTube channel about networks. So it's not just one network I have to run. It's a regular gigabit network. It's a multi gigabit network and a secondary test network. Oh, and on top of all of that, we have to run it to multiple rooms. So uh, let's get to designing a network. All right, so got my laptop here and we have some photos from the apartment. So this is not the exact apartment that we're moving into. Ours is a little bit different. For starters, this photo is taken from the living room looking at the kitchen. Now this staircase right here is a staircase that goes down to a one car garage that is private to us. Now this floor plan shows that the staircase is right by the front door. However, in the apartment that we're actually getting, there is a wall here. This whole area is a pantry and then this staircase is essentially just shifted over eight feet this way. So you access the staircase through this pantry slash utility room. So that's where all of like the laundry machine and everything's gonna be. And then the door to access that pantry laundry room area is right next to this refrigerator here. So that's the floor plan. And then if we look at this next photo, this is my bedroom. Now this door here to my bedroom is essentially a straight shot to the stove. So a straight line basically across the hallway until we get to my bedroom where I'm gonna need three network lines coming into my bedroom. Now this is the living room. Now here where this fireplace is on the opposite side of this wall is the master bedroom. So on top of this fireplace, we're gonna probably be putting the TV there. That's also where I'm gonna wanna put the access point because it's central to the whole apartment. So I'm gonna need a network line running over there. I'm not sure where the internet comes in. So whichever place it comes in, I'm gonna have to kind of adapt the plan a little bit although it shouldn't be too much adaptation. So with managed switches, I can essentially set up a VLAN profile so that way I can plug in essentially my WAN connection to the switch and then send it over down to the router and then have the router separate from wherever the internet actually comes in because I'm gonna be using a rack mounted router. I'm gonna have a network switch and my server. Now getting back to the pantry utility room area, 
I'm gonna have a switch in the garage and I'm just gonna have a line running underneath the door that gets to the garage and it's just gonna come up the, the staircase. I'll probably just tape it along the edge of the wall and it's gonna go into a switch in the utility closet area where I'm gonna split it out to five different lines. Two lines that are probably gonna go to the TV, however, I might have that just be one line to save on, you know, cabling. And then three lines going to my room. Editing Jack here, the plan's already changed a little bit and I did a terrible job of explaining it in this video, so you get me now. Um, I'm gonna be using this TP-Link two and a half gig uh, switch here with two 10 gig ports. So I'm gonna use two lines running to my room. This switch is going to be in my room. I'm going to just replace the fans with Noctua so it's quieter. And I'm gonna have two lines running to my room. One's gonna be a 10 gig line to feed the switch, which will then feed my computer and all of my other devices on my main network. And a second line for my testing network. I'm a big noise freak. I don't wanna have to deal with any of the sounds from all of my servers, routers, switches, whatever. So replacing these fans with Noctua's and keeping the other equipment outside of my bedroom is the way I'm gonna be going. I could simplify this whole thing a lot by just putting everything in my bedroom, but I don't wanna do that because again, I hate noise. Now for a number of reasons, I can't just go across the floor here with my cables. Number one is that looks tacky, although my solution is not that much better. Two, parents have x it, and three, I don't wanna have to be taping stuff down where you vacuum, you mop, you do something, you gotta worry about, you know, re-taping cables and things like that. And I can't go through the walls or through the attic, one, because I'm on the first floor, and two, because it's an apartment. So I figured we could go across the ceiling. Now I know it sounds stupid, but hear me out. With these monoprice slim run cables, I can bundle five cables together that are still less than the thickness of my Aria Live cable here. I've already tried holding this cable to the ceiling with gaff tape, and it works. But as soon as I try and run two of these, or two indoor cables, the weight starts to pull it down. However, five of these cables weighs the same as one of these cables. So, I'm thinking I can have five of these lines coming out of the pantry, all taped to the ceiling, going across here, making a right angle and going straight down to my bedroom. And then I'll branch off the two cables that'll go to the TV by just making another 90 degree turn and going straight to the TV. Should keep things pretty simple, pretty easy, out of the way of the floor and with white gaff tape, it should blend nicely in with the ceiling. Yes, it will still absolutely be noticeable, but it's an apartment. We're not gonna be having large gatherings here because it is a small apartment and it's only going to be temporary. Let's see what it looks like mounting up these monoprice cables to the ceiling. All right, so this is not a wall. This is in fact my ceiling. So it's not my best tape job, but then again, um, I'm not exactly used to running gaff tape over my head because why the heck would anybody be running gaff tape over their head? Oh yeah. Me, because I'm trying to run five network lines across the ceiling of an apartment. You know, this idea sounded a lot less crazy in my head. But with a little extra tape at the end here, this should be fully supportive. Now I can pull on these cables and the tape gives way a little bit, but overall, that's staying pretty good. And now I get to go rewrap 250 feet worth of network cable. Yay! Uh, but for real, the gaff tape seemed to work. Uh, this is only black gaff tape because my white gaff tape is currently in a bin in my grandma's basement because I packed that stuff up. But yeah, so with this monoprice slim run cable, I mean, this stuff is tiny. To be fair, five of these cables are a little bit thicker than the Aria Live cable, but not by much. Because if you look at these in comparison, look at how thick that cable is and look at how tiny this cabling is. Now, in my video about finding the best ethernet cable where I deemed the Aria Live Flex Off Stage Grade ethernet cable to be the best cable of all time, so links in the description, by the way, they're not a sponsor, I just really freaking love this thing. I was trashing on the Ubiquiti cable, and the Ubiquiti cable is about the same thickness as this cable. I said it did not inspire confidence in any way, shape, or form, and that I didn't trust it. But, this cable is a little bit different. When you rolled the Ubiquiti cable in your hands, you could feel a lot of dead space in that cable. And that cable was already so thin, so how was there any dead space in an already really thin cable? It just felt like the cables were just as thin as humanly possible, and I would not trust that to run PoE or any sort of high-speed networking. This cable is equally as thin, but there's not any dead space inside of it. It also doesn't have that terrible rubberized, like, cheap rubber texture coating to it, so it feels a lot better. It's also, you know, 
a, a lot easier to manage. It doesn't feel like it wants to bunch up nearly as much as that Ubiquiti cable did. And also, this is available in varying lengths, unlike the Ubiquiti cable, which is only available up to 25 feet. So, seeing as these are 50 foot cables, the Ubiquiti cable wasn't an option, and this stuff is much better. Also, this cable, like the pre-bought stuff, is really cool because of this connector end here. If you look at it, the cable goes all the way up to the, the connector ends, to the actual, you know, metal barbs that are gripping into the wires. Like, there is no extra cable slack inside of here. It's, it's actually a really clean, really cool cable. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you wanna see part two when we actually deploy this in the apartment, go ahead and get subscribed. I'll have links to all the products I talked about in this video's description down below. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.